This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. I was challenged. I was challenged by my brother, Master Sergeant Rafael Soroka. He challenged me to do the ice water bucket challenge. So of course I'm gonna accept it and I'm gonna need some help. So Ashley is gonna do the honor of pouring the bucket of water on me right now, live on Good Morning Heartland. So are you ready, Samantha? Yes, I'm ready. She's our Vanna White. She's Ooh. gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm okay. gonna climb up here. In am my I do? Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Right, no, I'm seriously going to do the challenge right now. We just wanted to have some fun. Make sure to donate money to any charity you want, not just ALS. There are so many good charities out there that you can do a great cause to. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. Let's just ha have everybody come out to the Polar Plunge come February and plunge with me for Special Olympics Missouri. Mm -hmm. All right, so now bring the water. I already have goosebumps. Let's do yeah, it's, it. It's for, oh, you're about to have serious goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. this I'm is cold. Back away. Oh, it's heavy too. Yeah, heavy. Okay, okay, but first I want to nominate three people to yeah. do it. Whether it's the Polar Plunge or the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And these are three special viewers to me. First of all, Wilda from Southeast Iowa. Of course I have to nominate you. Becky Reeves and Chastity Baker. I expect to see your Facebook post on our Facebook with your challenge. Ready? I'm more oh nervous God. than you are. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Give the lady a towel. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Ella Soroka. I'm Troy Moling. And Ashley, come on over. All right. <laughs> I'm back. It's safe now. Your news will continue tonight with KTO News at 5, but of course. You can always check us out at heartlandconnection.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m.